Hey guys, Mr. Bowman here. We're looking at 2.12 probability methods and we're going to be focusing on the achieved questions that were throughout the 2018 exam. And we're going to start off with question number one and I've got a bit of a hint that it related to distribution as well. So um, let's go through the question. Each day temperatures are recorded every hour at various locations around the country. The National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research, or NIWA, obtains daily temperatures by finding the mean of all the recorded temperatures in one 24-hour period at a location. Over the past seven years, the daily temperatures of Reefton, so Reefton is the location that we're going to be looking at, is found to be normally distributed. So that's the big hint that it's a normal distribution question with a mean of 11.6 degrees and a standard deviation of 4.8 degrees. Um, question or question number one, find the probability that a randomly chosen day in Reefton would have a daily temperature between 11.6 degrees and 11.8 degrees. So question number one, and we're dealing with um, AI at the moment. Um, for these questions, when you're finding the probability, I'd always start by drawing just a generic normal distribution curve like that. And I'll put in the mean, which goes in the middle there, and I'll put in the standard deviation, which goes on the top right. That mean for the question, 11.6 degrees, and standard deviation, 4.8. We've now got to figure out the range. So this is when we shade in the portion of our graph that we're interested in. So our range is between 11.6. We don't have to draw another line there because that's the mean. We've already got one there. But ahead of that, 18.8, we've got to draw that line. And then we shade in the area of the graph that we care about. So we're looking to find the area or the proportion that relates to that shaded part. This is where we grab out our graphics calculator. So when you're doing these questions, we know that we need to know a lower, and that relates to the the lowest part of our shaded area, which in our case is the mean of, which is 11.6. We also need an upper, and that's gonna be the 18.8. We're also gonna need a mean, or we should probably do a standard deviation first, because that's the order in the calculator, that's 4.8, and finally mean also 11.6. When you put that in your graphics calculator, you're going to get a probability of 0 0.4332, and that had a 4DP rounding. So that's part I for this question. We're now going to have a look at part II, and this is a similar question, finding the probability. So as soon as you see the probability reference, you're going to need a normal distribution curve to draw on. That's a bit wonky, but doesn't really matter too much. You're then going to put in your mean. Our mean is unchanged at 11.6, and our standard deviation is still 4.8. We now need to figure out the lower and the upper limits. We've been told about 17 degrees or over. So we'll put in a line representing 17, and we're finding the over part, or the bit before it. This time around, there's no upper limit. It, in theory, goes on forever. So that's when we use our four nines, 9999. Nine, nine, nine. And that's the upper limit that we're going to use for the calculator. So our lower, when you're onto your calculator, is 17. Our upper is the four nines, so 999. Our standard deviation is 4.8. That's unchanged from the previous question. And mean 11.6, also unchanged from the previous question. You put that into your calculator, and you're going to get a probability of 0 0.1303 and again I've used that 4dp rounding which I always use for probability questions. Okay we're now looking at question number two from this 2018 exam achieve questions. Um, we've got a thing so we've got some Kaitaia daily weather um, over the last seven years um, this guy has classified days as windy which is when the wind was above 36 kilometers or per hour. And if it was below that, he's considered them to be a still day. And you can see that there, windy and still in our two-way table. He's classified the day as wet if there's more than two millimeters of rain and dry if there's less. And we can see that there, wet and dry days. So he summarized all his results in this big table that we've got here. 
And we've been asked to use the table to find out the proportion of days that were windy. So let's have a look at I. So we're trying to find the probability of a windy day. So my notation, probability with windy in brackets. And whenever you're find, using two-way tables or trying to find the probability, you should consider, do I need to use that approach F over T? And in this case, we do. So we're looking at the probability of windy days. So we're going to start off with that total. How many days are there in total that we're looking at? And we've got that number, 2,556. So 2,556, that's the denominator where the total is. And of those 2,556 2, days, how many of them met that condition of being windy? And we've got that 1,646, 1,646. We'll put that there. That's the favorable outcome. So that goes on the numerator. And this is where we grab out our calculators. We're going to go 1646 divided by 2556. And that is going to get us to 0 0.6440. And that had a 4DP rounding. Let's how, now have a look at II. Um, and we're trying to find what proportion of which days were still. So this time around, we don't care about all the days, we only care about the days that are classified as wet. Our notation, what's the probability of being, or a day being still, given that day was wet? Um, we're gonna jump into F over T again, F over T, and we're now gonna look for that total. We only care about still days, so we need to find the still total. Sorry, we're only looking for wet days, so we're going to find the wet total. And we've got the wet column up there. On the bottom, 641 is going to be the numerator, 641. And of these 641 days, how many of them were still? We had 88 of them based on our table. That the numerator is going to be 88. So we're then going to grab out our calculator, 88 divided by 641. That gets me to 0 0.13. 7, 3, and again, I've rounded to 40p to get that number. Last lot of chief questions in the 2018 exam. Um, let's read through the question, but we are dealing with question number three. So Nancy has found some data from Niwa about Ashburton and Timaru over the past seven years. She analyzes the data. She's found out that um, it is wet on 45% of days in Ashburton. If Ashburton was wet, Timaru was also going to be wet 63% of the time. If Ashburton was dry, Timaru was going to be dry 88% of the time. We've been asked to find the probability that both Ashburton and Timaru were dry. We've also been asked to find, well, what's the probability that only one of the towns were wet on a given day. The fact we're considering two things one after the other does suggest we're looking at a probability tree. So that's the reason I gave you the hint. The first thing we're going to look at, we'll draw a tree first before we get into the questions. And we're going to focus, focus on Ashburton. So the probability, I'm going to write ash wet for Ashburton being wet. And then ash dry for Ashburton being dry. We know the probability of Ashburton being wet is 45% which is 0.45, which means the probability of Ashburton being dry is 0.55. After that, we're now going to look into Timaru. So we're going to have Timaru wet, and then we're going to have Timaru dry, and the same down below, Timaru wet, and then we've got Timaru dry. So if Ashburton was wet, so that relates to the first part, it was a 63% chance of Timaru being wet as well. So that there is going to be 0 0.63, which means the bottom one is going to be 0 0.37. Don't forget, both of these have to add up to 1. I did 1 minus 0 0.63 to get that 0 0.37. And finally, the next one, um, Timaru being dry, 88%. So 88 is down the bottom this time, which means that there is 0 0.12. So that's our probability tree. We can now get into the questions once we've visualized or we've got our information in order. So question number I, what is the probability that they are both, 
dry. And if you look at your probability tree, both being dry, so that's Ashburton dry, that's Timaru dry. So the outcome at the end of this branch would be the probability of both being dry. And that there is 0 0.55 and 0 0.88. We multiply them together. So that's going to be 0 0.55 times 0 0.88. When we put that into a calculator, you're going to get 0 0.484. No rounding needed for that one there. We're now moving on to II. What is the probability that only one town was wet? So not both, but just one town. If you have a look at the top here, both of those are wet, which means we do not care about that pathway. This pathway here, we got Ashburton wet, Timaru dry, so we do care about that pathway. Same here, Ashburton dry, Timaru wet. We care about this one here. And this last one was the dry, dry. Um, we don't care about that one there. So probability that only one town was wet is going to be these two branches added together. So we're going to go 0 0.45 times 0 0.37. And that relates to this first branch, 4537. And then we're going to add the 5, 5 and the 1, 2 from the next branch. So they're multiplied together. 0 0.55 times 0 0.12. We then put that into our calculator and we're going to get 0 0.2325. And again, no rounding was needed for that question there. So hopefully you found the achieved questions from the 2018 exam useful. Um, keep an eye out for the other videos going through previous ones as well.